welcome to Itrafic. Today's video we are going to learn a program to display the following pattern. Uh, today we learned how we can make this uh, following pattern in C. So before we have created already pattern with X, that one is always from that is X start from the first position. But here you can see the X is po started at the fifth position in first line and uh, fourth position in second line and third in third line and so on so how we will do that here we are going to use nested for loop first we will use int oh sorry we'll take three variable i one more j and k first we'll take the main for loop means outer for loop four and here we'll initialize the value of i as k uh, 1 and we'll go till i less than equal to 5 and each time the value of i will be increment by 1 now inside i we will just add printf slash n just we'll add a new line here now inside this for loop before slash n we'll add another for loop to display the x so we'll write 4 here we'll write k variable k equal 1 k less than equal to k less than equal to i then k plus plus to display the x and inside the loop we'll add printf statement printf and here we'll write just x now let's see what output we will get so we are getting this following triangle but according to the question our pattern should be this way you can compare the both of the pattern but both are not matching we need the x in right hand side but here we are getting in left hand side so to do that we will add another for loop inside the outer for loop so before uh, this x only will add it so we will write it here for here we will write i equal 1 then semicolon and each time we will write the value of i as uh, 5 minus i means first time we'll do 5 minus 1 4 time till 4 time we'll uh, run the loop like that it will go on so we'll write sorry here we'll not take the variable si it is j j equal 1 the next part will be j less than equal inside bracket we'll write 5 minus i means first time it will be 5 minus 1 4 second time 5 minus 4 3 it will be 2 like that it will go on then each time the value of i will be increment by 1 and inside the for loop we'll add the statement just a blank space in printf statement we'll add just a blank space like printf slash oh sorry just a blank space and we'll put a semicolon now let's see what output we'll get oops we have did a mistake let's see what mistake i have did here j equal 1 j less than equal to 5 minus i and here it should be j plus plus now oh, let's run the program So we are getting the pattern in this way. Now suppose uh, we want that number of x should be entered by the user means n number of x. So how we will do that? Here we'll add uh, another variable that is as n. Now we'll take the input. So printf 
enter a number then we'll take the input of n we'll write here scanf percent d and we'll store it and n in n now after the scanf statement we'll here write in place of 5 n and in this loop also in place of i sorry in place of 5 we'll write n so now let's see what we'll get it enter a number suppose i'm writing 8 so 8x pattern we can see it here so this way you can write you can display pattern of x now if we want to display the pattern in uh, this way suppose uh, another x Suppose we want to display the pattern in this way, then what should we do? So just we'll have to add one another for loop that we'll learn in the next video. I hope you have understood how you can make this type of pattern. If you still have any confusion, you can write in comment section. Definitely I'll try to help you. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye.